Welcome back everyone to my art journey. Today we're gonna keep it super short and simple. Uh, it's day number 13 of my Stanuary challenge, so we are drawing the Punisher. Um, and today I'm going for a super simplistic style. I'm not gonna be doing anything overly refined or even doing a ton of color. I'm mainly just working with uh, ink and then a little bit of marker near the end just to make some stuff pop. But essentially it's just my mechanical pencil, micron pens, and some black sharpie ink. So the inspiration for today's Punisher, um, I, I see a lot of Punishers where, you know, he's got like a huge gun or he's silhouetted and you only see part of his face sort of illuminated in light. But I was actually taking my inspiration from the 2004 film where in one part of the movie where he's trying to be a little bit more stealth-like, he's actually using a bow and arrow which I thought was a really cool part. I mean, he only shoots like three or four arrows, but um, just leading up to that battle, it's a pretty sweet scene. So I was able to find the photo online and use that as my reference, which of course ends up making the Punisher look a little bit more realistic in his proportions. He doesn't have the typical superhero proportions with like the huge broad shoulders and big bulging muscles or anything like that. But this brings me into a little bit of a tip slash rant. Um, so the tip is, Every once in a while, it's nice to play around with different styles, look at different photos, look at different artists that inspire you, and try and draw in different ways that you're not totally comfortable with. Uh, the reason I say this is because I spent a long period of time trying to establish my style, uh, whatever that meant. So I would look at other artists and I would think to myself, you know, they have a very particular style. I could see a bit of their work and just know it was them. Um, but you have to understand that anytime you draw something, it's automatically going to be in your style. Even if you're copying off of someone else's work, you're going to add your own flair uh, without even realizing it. So don't chase your style, you, you already have it. All right, rant over. So now we're into the cross-hatching section of the video. It's gonna be super short. Cross-hatching is essentially a way to add shadow to a drawing uh, by doing a series of multiple lines in one or multiple directions. So there's many different schools of thought on cross-hatching. There are people who are way better at it than I am. Um, I have a very basic understanding of it. So mine is more like cell shading, where I pick an area of the body that I think is gonna be shaded, and then I just do diagonal lines in one direction. And basically, if you want to thicken that up, uh, what you would do is just add lines going in an opposite direction, and there's your cross-hatching. So at this point it looks like we're finished, uh, but we have one last little step to take, and that is with a micron pen I'm going to go around the entire outside of the character, uh, mainly just him, his silhouette, and that makes it that much better. Just a little bit of pop of silhouette there to finish things out. All right, guys, I hope you enjoy the finished product. I certainly uh, had a good time just getting this out of my system this afternoon. It only took me a couple of hours. Every once in a while, it's nice to do something simple. Uh, be sure to stick around for my next video. I'm going to be announcing a contest that I have coming up. I'm very, very excited about it because I'm going to be drawing some really cool stuff, and it involves you guys and your entries. So make sure you subscribe. If you uh, enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a share and a like and uh, comment on stuff you would like to see in the future. Otherwise, I'll see you next time. Thanks, guys.